Yes, good night, and welcome to another playtime with this. Now it's been a while since our last episode. Uh, I've been quite busy. And it's really sucked. But, uh... I reached out to the devs of this game, and, uh, they, they offered me a key when I asked for one, and... I really w am excited to play this, because this reminds me of old school... Um... Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy, you know, old school RPGs like that. So, uh, thank you to the devs for providing me for this key, but, you know, as always, as Escodites, all opinions of this game are my own. I don't know why my... So let's see, spacebar, confirm talk, open menu, arrow, directional keys, is move. Okay. Windowed mode by pressing F4. I'm already in windowed mode. Uh, choose the hero's class. You have minced roll. Can equip staves, books, daggers, and light armor. Uh, looks like they're B in strength and agility. Buff allies through song or assail enemies using magical instruments. Uh, we got combat here. Swords, great swords, axes, daggers, spears, and heavy armor. So this is the tank, it looks like. Command name, sword and shield. Hot, very high defense. Good strength, but very slow. Skilled fighters who expertly wield common weapons of warfare and primarily don heavy armors. Prime for the battlefield. Uh, spell slinger. Well, we know this is a mage. Uh, staves, books, whips, ooh, whips, interesting, light armor, uh, command name Black Magic, they're very high in int and MP, powerful spellcasters who exclusively focus their attacks on a single target, masterf masterfully wield all elements and possess the most MP. Ooh. Okay. Um, no. Savior, this is going to be the healer, I'm assuming. Yeah, heal allies, so. Sword, staves, books, spears, light armor, and heavy armor. Looks like they're all around everything. Uh, the bane of all things born of the dark. Specialize in channeling holy magics to heal their allies or destroy their foes. Uh, dancer, ooh. Command name Dance. Can equip daggers, spears, claws, whips, and light armor. Very high agility and MP. Debilitate swaths of enemies by performing mystical and otherworldly dances. Uh, wise man. <laughs> Group magic. Uh, staves, books, light armor. Very. The max int, it looks like. Wise and sages uh, 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 bursting with magic. Their vast knowledge allows them to devastate entire groups of enemies with their power. Um, hunter. Axes, daggers, spears, claws, whips, and light armor. Hunting skills. Proficial nat naturalists who target and deal critical damage to specific enemy types. They also conjure generous amounts of basic healing items and concoct bombs to inflict their foes with several nasty ailments. That's interesting. So they make potions? Slime Knight. Command name Mid Magic. Swords, great swords, staves, light armor, heavy armor. Learn a variety of single and multi targeting mid tier magics and utilize their feelers to absorb HP or inflict their foes with an incredibly deadly poison. So far, I'm leaning towards the slime. Barbarian, savagery, great swords, axes, claws, light armor, heavy armor. Very max HP and very strong. Most incredible power, but lack any finesse or true skill. They cripple foes or break their limbs to permanently lower their foes' stats. Interesting. Companion. A man named Trix. Is this a dog? Swords, daggers, claws, light armor. Jack of all trades with access to a plethora of abilities with a wide variety of effects. 
Breathing fire, curing ailments, intimidating foes, or empowering allies with a triumphant howl are only a wait, only a taste of their power. Champion cannot equip shields. Swords, stav axes, staves, daggers, book, and light armor. Dual wielding masters of combat who forgo heavier armors better allow them to dance across the battlefield and decimate foes with their lethal abilities. And Druid. Staves, books, light armor. Channel Sufana's energy to summon catastrophic... Catastrophic na natural disasters. Each of their attacks is linked to a nasty uh, surprise. Expertly wields the three primary elements, but lacks the punch of a spell slinger. Interesting. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Slime Knight. Into your character's name. We'll go with the Scorian. Uh, yeah. Then choose your companions. <gasps> you can take the doggo. Maybe? Oh, there I am. Oh. Okay, I want a dancer. I think this was, yeah. Add to the party. Name this hero. Uh, Namari, after my wife's name. Um, I can't open the menu here. Uh, which one was the healer? Savior. Oh, uh, you're gonna be Cerulean. And this was the tank. Nevermore. Now if I for some reason uh, can have five, would you like to keep your current party? It looked like a skeleton. Yeah. Keep current party. Alright. This looks like a good party. If you encounter an NPC important enough to have a name during your travels, don't forget to exhaust your dialogue. Going back and talking to such characters are initially... After initially conversing with them more often than not reveals crucial information that may be vital to your quest. Welcome to the realm of heroes, uh, revered champions. New heroes, are we? Seems like the Dark World's up for to its shenanigans again. Well, you four look fairly capable, so we shouldn't worry too much. Welcome to the Realm of Heroes, Brave Champion. It seems the creator did well in choosing you four as his current representatives. The great creator brought a handful of us here for the sole purpose of taking care of this dimension of heroes and champions. And an, addition, an appropriate design it was. Some of you may well face down an army of ogres, but I'll be damned if you knew which side of the broom you're intended to sweep the floor with. Many come here to hone their skills, be they magic, spells, special sword, techniques, or something else entirely. Champions, like to see a list of the nasty ailments you may be subject to during your time on Sufana? I compiled a list from the most debilitating. We ha also have someone on the surface who's privy to this information as well, in case you have to jog your memory. Uh, surrounded, burning, frozen, acid... Distracted, love struck, mind break, knocked down, stunned, and sleeping. Oh, jeez. That is a. The effects of the defend command immediately take effect once a round has commenced during battle, disregarding a hero's agility completely. 
The intelligence stat doubles as a hero's defense against magic-based abilities. Okay, okay, ah, so thrust then slash. But doesn't seem like it'd feel right. Hmm, I better... I still think my way is better. Okay, okay. That was quite the adventure. I probably shouldn't say this, but I loved every moment of it. Despite the tragedies, it's something I would never have experienced had I been born a regular human on Sufana. I thank the Creator every day for this glorious existence and for giving me the power to make a difference in the lives of Sufanians. No matter how brief, it's due to the efforts of us heroes that the world of Sufana still knows relative peace, free of Amazaldine's clutches. Um, okay. It is here you shall set out on a fantastical adventure to thwart the fiendish plan to corrupt and conquer Lord Suf or conquer Sufana with the aid of Venaitura and his six purveyors of doom. This journey will not be an easy one. This iteration of the Dread Tower of Darkness may be perhaps its most powerful incarnation yet. If so, then Zadagon's powers are indeed something to be feared. But hold your heads aloft, for you four are the creator's chosen champions and the destined heroes of Sufano. Whoosh! Gregory the Greeter. I've been expecting you heroes. This is Ground Zero, the place where all of the creator's champions arrive on to Sufana. This is an idle, solated space, you see, a separate dimension that appears a part of the everyday world around it. While Sufana may shift and change, this room and altar room remain untouched, but beyond the door over there, time flows normally. Enjoy at last step foot upon Enmutora's greatest and most cherished of his creations, the world of Sufana. Good luck out there, heroes. So. Do we have equipment? I got a sword. Circus Master's whip. Soldier sword. And a hand axe. Better pillar and uh, Oh, the Mari just destroyed both of them. A bat wing was found. Sealed by a powerful force. Brown's helmet. Always equip the uh, gear you get. Okay. Yep. Right now I don't have anything but uh, my basic attacks. So I'm going to just click the auto battle button. Oop. That damages me. Better pillar and little flapper. Woo! Look at that crit. Oh wow. Better pillar like and a batwing. Met a poor bloke in here who was cursed and confined to this cave to live out the remainder of his life. Tried to get him out a few times, but he'd always be forced back through the entrance by some some strange force. I tried bringing him food on several occasions, but I think he eventually gave up hope and forfeit his life. Gooper Trooper. No, my brethren! Dang, look at those crits. Found old key. Smelling salts. Looks like it was forced open. <gasps> How could they? Green pendant. Well, I'm already a poison. Hmm. 
No. Oh, they got a turn. Camelot to the east, southwest, Brazilian forests. Saw a treasure chest. Treasure chest. Oh, nice. Stun the uh, scorpion. I might have made a mistake. Hmm. Yeah, I might not have wanted to come in here. Good thing I saved when I got outside of that uh, tutorial area, huh? Oh, I'm dead. Mama's dead. Oh, hey, we're all dead. Whoops! <laughs> here. Let's find out! Poke the things! Oh, they're taking damage. Ow. Hey, we got one of them. Get it. Oh, that's dead. Oh, I guess not. Now it's dead. Hey. The cave a little north of here is a group of mages. Here's home to a group of mages who used to study under Merlin. Haven't seen them around lately now that I think about it. Oh, I wouldn't advise going there either. It's crawling with powerful monsters. Whatever they're dabbling in apparently causes whatever is living in the area to become super powerful. Mages just seem like bad news, don't they? Merlin's only recently started coming back to the village. I think depression overtook her when her son was abducted several months ago. Young Arthur loved making frequent villages a visit to Barkenwag with his mother. Me and the prince are best friends, he'd say. Swore they'd live together someday. And go on all kinds of wild and, wild and crazy adventures together. Knowing him, it was going to happen, but now... Huh. No wonder Merlin's in this 
this trance. She's so very heart, so very lost without that boy. It's heartbreaking. You folks look foreign? No offense, but you definitely don't look like you're from around here. Anyway, if you're in the mood to do a bit of sightseeing amongst all the, this chaos, I'd recommend checking out Barkenwog. It's a little village of nothing but dogs on our south most peninsula. Well, definitely me. Headstrong Merlin, master sorceress, and quite possibly the most powerful magic user on all Sufana, yielding to that punk? Something's not right. Something's definitely not right, and this old man knows it. Ever since Morgan popped up here on Little Britain, Merlin's come out of hibernation. If it wasn't for him, she'd still be locked up in that cramped hut of hers in the Brazilian forest. That strange cloak fellow over there with the droopy eye has a point. We've got to somehow convince Merlin that Morgan's a villain that just cannot be trusted. It's a shame, really. I thought that poor deer had a great, uh, had a little more sense than that, being the great Merlin and all. The Lady of the Lake was said to have the unique ability to gaze into another soul and immediately deduce their true intentions. It's such a shame that she'd be so blinded by love that she met her end at her lover's hands and saw herself trapped in that cave. Can, can I get by you? I want that treasure. Guess not. Doors open. Kept telling my son to stop bringing up Merlin's child, but it seems like he just can't help himself. Cause there's something about someone like Merlin having a child that he's completely enamored with. Daddy says Merlin might seem super serious and mean, but she's a total softie when it comes to animals. Her son was the same way. What's that, my dear? I'm afraid I can't hear you over the prattling of these simple, mild-minded admirers of yours. Buzz off, darlings. You'll get to your turn soon enough, but right now this one's mine, so scram. Can you not see that I'm in the middle of a conversation? Do you people always interrupt others to prattle about your heroics? Some brazen fool decided to steal one of Merlin's magical knickknacks, so she cursed him to forever be imprisoned within a cave to the northwest somewhere with whatever mar magical artifact he'd gotten his hands on, idiot. That's what he gets for messing with Merlin, of all people. I see this. Mine! See that woman over there by the pond talking to that... to that thing? That's Merlin, probably one of the most powerful mages in the world. Can you believe she's actually taken interest in that Morgan character? He's one of the Zodagon Six, a villain of all the people? Hubby's been gone to a, lo a long while. Too long, if you ask me. Thinks Franks wants to steal his crops and pitchfork. I think he's gonna look for one of those memory flies, which means he's uh, he's gone to the Brazilian forest, of course. So I guess it's super supper alone again tonight. Storehouse key. Magic stone plus two. Oh, don't do this to me. You're gonna have me checking everything. Yep, you're gonna have me check at everything. Pitchfork. Strong herb. I feel like I should. Wait, can I equip it? No. I'll give it to Nevermore. Walked right up to her, I did. Only a, had a few drinks, see, and thought the world was mine. And she shot me down and trampled over every shred of confidence I thought I had. Damn that bewitching harlot. You tried to pull your moves on Merlin, of all people. She doesn't care how rich you are. She doesn't even care if you're the most attractive man in the world. Look who she's taking interest in, and you'll see my point. That long-haired, fair-skinned, wonderfully dressed and elegant... Uh, uh, never mind. What am I saying? He's even worked his black magic on me. Zadagon's generals truly are fiends. 
Such a shame Merlin secluded herself within the Brazilian forest during the ordeal between Isabel and Elbeth. Ever since that blasted tower appeared on the eastern horizon, there's been monsters appearing all over the place. There's no end to the freaking pests. Well, those in the damned purveyors of doom that this Zodagon character sicked on us, common folk. Okay. We're gonna stop in at the inn. How much money do I have? 54 gold. Can I buy anything? Nope. What about armor? Better than what I have. What's over here? Who are you? If there was anything to take, it's already gone. Bandits and other ruffians guffin gutted Isabel's cottage mere days after Elbeth dragged her away. At first, they seemed like the perfect couple, but he was a jealous man, and through it all, uh, she loved and believed in him until the bitter end. Nothing. Oh. Can't walk past those. Hang on. I know the trick of this. Spellcaster's ring. Tome of arms. I don't know. Wow. Um. better than what he has. Okay. Oh. I'm... Probably should give him that too. But I can only assume the game wants me to go over here. Do, 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 do. 
Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't mind me. Just taking a nap. break. Hey, stop trying to sleep me, alright? Oh, I died. Never more is dead. Stop that! Glad I healed her. I'm dead. Survived. Run. I have ten gold. Those are expensive. Hopefully this revives? Taking them. They're all mine! 
Oh, you're the first to visit in a long, long time. Yes, you are. Did you come to find the best of boys? I am he, and he is I. Dog suit? Nevermore can't wear it. I'm gonna give it to Namari actually. That way she does more damage with her whip. Where's Arthur? I miss when he and his mama Merlin used to come visit. He doesn't hate us, does he? Did I play too rough? <sighs> Canines do not possess te telepathic abilities. Where are you? Where you're from? Oh boy, you really need to get out more. We learned this forever ago. Gotta roll in the mud, chase my tail, frolic in the tall grass. Whoo, I got me a busy day ahead. No time for chat, stranger. Stone Talons Agility Plus. I just wanted to talk to the dog that went out of bounds. Strange man keeps coming here at night, but whenever I spot him and bark a whole lot, he leaves and the guy said I wasn't intimidated. Welcome to Barkin Ward, Traveler. You can pet and look and play all you want, but please leave our residence where they are. We're not pets. Doggy tail? A whip. Can anyone equip claws? Not you. Or you. Okay. There's a super evil presence here in Camelot. It's got its eyes on Barkenwog. I know it. Even the bestest of villains need great companions to love them and lick them and be the bestest cuddle buddies in all of Sufana. And who doesn't love a cuddle buddy? Uh, no one. Well, thank you for the gear. Yay. Are these does it say self sell for gold, so I'm assuming yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice crit. Nice. Namari leveled up. Cause she was the only one to survive that one fight. Ooh, 80 gold. I will take it. That should be actually enough to get some new armor and stuff. Those are new. Nice crit, again. Hey, solidify. I can petrify enemies. Don't mess with a slime. I'll turn you into a rock. Looks like some poor sap was probably overcome by the poison around these parts. I'd say a monster finished the job, but don't let their untimely demise be some kind of deterrent. If you don't grab and spend whatever coins left on their bodies, someone else will. Gold's gold, after all. Joink. Bye! I will gladly take your stuff, sir.
It's a sword. this sword and I'm going to one else has a better weapon off I don't need it wait I can equip this Okay, now we're better geared up. Now we should be able to handle this forest? I kind of want to poke my head in this cave here, though. Nothing. 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 Magic tonic. Always look into everything. Okay. We know I can handle these. A big hit from Nevermore. Wow. At least we know this. Is I'm good for this place. I don't like the mushrooms. I guess the gear upgrade really helped. Weak ring of power. I'm a DPS. Damage, please. Nothing. Eye drops. Gold. Magic potion. Legs of legend. Is that a reference to something? Legendary leg bomb is found. Oh, 
of an antidote. Dead. Hey, sword flash. That sounds fancy. Hero maker. Dead. That one's dead. Good. We got the. Boom. I didn't do it. Wake soul. Hey, never more is four. I hope those aren't like permanent stat changes. Bedtime dance. Nothing. 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 I like how the every attack of the whip can crit. But it also feels very strong being able to do that. So you two have come to steal her away from me? I had her locked up because of people like you. People with prying eyes and running mouths. I knew you were coming for her, for us. But you were all too late. I was the first to act and for that she was spared of your greed, of your needs and wants and jealous eyes. You made her think I was at fault. She looked through me when I told her never to do that, but you made her. You instilled doubt in my love's mind. You destroyed her and, and us and everything I loved. It's you. It's people like you! Um. Agility! Three. 
Big crits. Nevermore is filled with an unbridled rage. Hey! Elbath's key was found. Isabel's death. Attack 5, int 10, 20% sleep. I'm assuming I have to go through the... Oh! The... Oops. Read it. No one understands him. They say he's a terrible man, but they're wrong. They don't see that kind of soul hidden beneath his scarred exterior. There's a goodness within him that only I could see. Elbeth brings me such warmth and joy and happiness. There's no greater pleasure than being in his embrace. Oftentimes he may lose control of his anger, but his reassurance of his love for me is all I need to see him through his darkest of days. The darkness he's endured is greater than any momentary pain inflicted upon this mortal shell of mine. I know without a doubt that with enough dedication and our cooperation, will surely win this battle against the demons haunting his mind. He loves me. I know that he loves me, and I love him forever and always. I can't get out. I peered into his soul, and for that I deserve this punishment. Countless times he asked to beg to plead, but I didn't listen, so I deserve this. Someday he'll come and let me out. I know it. Tomorrow, it'll definitely be tomorrow. He knows it was an accident and that I love him. A simple mistake, he knows that. Our love is stronger than this. Oh. Soul mirror. Common power. Reflects the soul's true intentions and desires. Ah. So I take it we use this on. Like, I wasn't here. Oh. I didn't do it. You didn't see that. <laughs> I take it we take this item and use it on Morgan or whatever it is. Hey, level five. I do want to go down the other staircase first and see what I missed. That treasure over there will bug me otherwise. And I don't care if it's just herbs, I want it. Just a grizzly. Die, bear! <gasps> How dare you die? He said die. Shield bash. Well, you don't have a shield.
Ooh, look at all that money. I spent... Hey, look at that. Before I forget again. I have that. Okay. I bought two of these bronze armors, so I need one more of those. I should heal to consider when we gain some levels. Alright, time to find out the true villain here. Morgan is occupied conversing with Merlin. You hold up the soul mirror. In its surface, his true motivations are reflected. You witness Morgan embrace Merlin. She's been revitalized. A, a renewed vigor has ignited her soul with fiery and passion for destruction. The villain watches as his slave raises the land and completely obliterates anyone foolish enough to oppose him. But first, he requires a gift. Something to truly win her affection and guarantee her fate as his obedient servant. That gift is the Prince of Barkenwog. Merlin loves animals, but she's absolutely obsessed with dogs. It was a trait she shared with her dearly departed son. If Morgan gets his hands on the prince, he'll overtake Merlin's heart and use her as a weapon. The mirror shatters in your hand. The dark hearts of Zodagons, six purveyors of doom, they're too twisted and corrupt for even the powerful mirror. You begin to question whether or not you should inform Merlin of what you saw within the mirror's reflection, and if she'll even believe you should you decide to do so. In light of this new discovery, what is it you people expect from me exactly? Concern? Fear? Anger? Which reaction would satisfy you best and make you feel truly heroic? I don't care what his intentions are. Is that much not obvious? I feel so happy, so incredibly at peace. It's just like he never left, just like Arthur standing right here with me. Listen, I get it. I get it. You four severely disliked Morgan. Despite being heroes, your fondness for evidence is dangerously lacking. To make such bold accusations and rely on word-of-mouth tactics to make your deductions. Find a memory fly. Show me proof. It's a particularly rare in insect, but one with an invaluable ability. If you do find evidence, the evidence you sorely lack, it might do you a bit of good to have one of those at your side. Where can you find it? Let's allow your persistence to lead you to the answer. Uh, memory fly. The elusive memory fly. Okay. Huh. 
Fine this time. Oh, come on. have poison the one that can remove it from himself. Oh, stop that! Thank you. Fell perfect. Log splitter. I think that's an axe, right? Huntsman. Them. Of course you regained your composure just in time. Huntsman dead. Come on, bear died. Put us to sleep. It's dead. How dare you dodge everything? You've activated my trap card! Axe to the face! Time my trucks through this darn forest finally paid off. Got my hands on two. That's right, two memory flies. When luck hits, it hits hard. Anyone who knows me knows I love a good onion, maybe a little too much. But that thieving Franklin's been robbing me blind every chance he gets. 
The man couldn't grow grass, let alone a decent crop. This little guy, I'll finally know if that nosy neighbor is out to socialize or fill his pantry. Hey, you're looking for one of these too? Well, I suppose I can give you the extra. My place ain't too big after all, and I'm only keeping an eye on one. Besides, it's Fort Maryland. The deer conjured up a small rainstorm over my crops after a dangerous drought one year. I still owe her. Well, and ending up on the wrong side of her spells isn't worth a lifetime of supply of my multi-layered delicacies. What am I supposed to do? Aha! We can dodge too, stupid bear. There we go. No more heals. Ooh. Oh, this might actually kill someone. Cast escape, but well. Oh, uh, hang on. Well, I made it out safely. We're gonna go over and see if I need to just deliver this to Merlin or. Where'd she go? <gasps> They're off to that town, aren't they? Hang on. We gotta save the dogs! Definitely looks like XP is dependent on the class on how fast they level up. Because my slime definitely requires less than throwing. Must save the dogs!
Okay. The memory fly buzzes overhead and intently observes the situation unfolding before you. Such felt, there's fur all over my perfectly tailored robes, and one of those curs actually managed to rip my sleeve. How bun a bunch of strays became even this civilized is beyond me. But Merlin absolutely loves your kind. Oh, darling, be happy that after all this is over, you'll never have to deal with a woman or anybody ever again. Monster Everman, girl, I will be no pet if you get any closer. Oh ho, you'll do, you'll what exactly, hmm? Bite me? Been there, done that, honey. If those mutts had just let me take your highness, they could have whimpered off into the forest somewhere to live another day. Or make some goblin child happy. Who knows? Point is, I'm not leaving here without you. You'll suffer, evil man. Ah, you, you. What did I tell you? I'd own you. I'd have you. Did I at all stutter when I said that? Your people are dead and you will be too. Whimper. Oh! Ahem, now come along like the good little puppy dog you're supposed to be. We've got a beautiful sorceress in waiting who's absolutely dying to see you again. What's this? Oh, please, no. Are you serious? Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh darlings have me cornered, do you? Hmm, <laughs> think again, poopsies. Touch me, and Merlin will annihilate you. Sorry, excuses for heroes. If anything, this... Is that... Wait a second, wait a second! No, 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 no! You cheaters! A memory fly? There's no way you're actually that clever. All right, listen, hand over the bug. If you behave, I promise to make this as painless as possible. How's that sound? Um... Main flick potent poison. Let's go ahead and chill it up her. Rock wall on. Um, we're gonna give that to Namari right now. A stun. Yeah. Not affected. Lost in a trance. Lost in a trance. Nevermore is blinded by love for Morgan. Ooh, nice. I poisoned it. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Sun Sphere. Uh, well, I guess it's just attack. Cerulean and Nevermore both in love with Morgan. Of course, I fall asleep. Uh, engage. Physical attack. We ain't having that. P80, gold 50. But, but I, I had her! I had her! I had her! I had her! This wasn't supposed to happen! 
Limper, please leave, thank you, but please. Stay away, please stay away! She went back to her house or if she's in this town. Well, either way, he's dead. Excuse you. I just got out of a fight. do is we'll save up or uh, heal up and save and then go through the forest because I think I'm almost done with the forest and I'm pretty sure that's where she is Say the fly loses their power outside of the forest. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Now that the game wants to use magic, I can't allow that. almost done so I hope I don't have to fight her <laughs> Persistent naggers, you've come all the way out here to what? Rub in my face that he too left me? So even the creator's great heroes delight in watching others suffer? Or perhaps my, it's my reputation. Trampling on Sufana's greatest sorcerer would earn a semblance of notoriety. You present Merlin with the memory fly. It illuminates the entire cottage with a marvelous incandescence. You relieve, relive Morgan's savagery against the residents of Parkenwog, ending with his eventual defeat. I see, I... I'm sorry, Arthur. Look how far your mother has fallen. What good do these powerful magics do? What purpose does my knowledge serve if I was still too weak to save you? If I fell victim to... to something like that? You love them, Arthur. Loved every living thing dearly, and still... But it was not lust that overcame me, not desire, but a familiarity that reminded... resembled my son's. A closeness and bond that only a mother would know. I wanted to keep it close and never let it go. I wanted to hold it tight and relive those Halcyon days. But he's gone. 
Listen well, chosen few. These artifacts anchor Venitra's vast power in place, and always have, but this time is unlike all the others. The tower's magic steadily grow, and left as is, will eventually break free of its shackles. Sifana's divine will blesses several powerful artifacts with the task of becoming an anchor each time that dreaded tower appears in our world. It's uncertain where or what each of them is, but this time it, that duty fell to my holy grail. Go on, take it. I won't hold it against you, but it's the only gift you'll get, so don't expect overcompensation for getting rid of that villain. Magic tonic. Magic stone plus four. Int plus. Arthur thoroughly enjoyed his time with young Beatrice of Lanto. Both share a common interest in both the dark and divine arts. For being of such a young age, his knowledge is particularly remarkable. The peculiar characters the company and her were unlike the co company I would imagine a girl of her age associating with. I could say with all honesty that I would never pin her as being a pirate of any kind. But she was forthright and hardy, so I don't suspect negligence or mistreatment from her apparent caretakers. I only wish Arthur would find a friend who he could spend more than a several days with before having them snatched away. I keep assuring him that he will, without a doubt, contact her at some point, but he is not overly optimistic. I carried Excalibur far beyond the mountains. Arthur no longer needs that sword. He will never wield it, so I forbade all others from reveling in its majesty. I parted with a portion of my research that allowed me to forge the Divine Blade. It is now in the hands of an organization of fledgling magicians. Perhaps someday they will uncover the secrets of enchanting weaponry and forge something exceeding Excalibur's power. Accompany you? Who? Me? Thank you for the offer. I'd love to, but much like Venitura, I have an anchor of my own, Little Britain. You think I obtained this vast knowledge and incredible dark magics through study? Ha ha ha! Who knew you heroes were the comedic type? No, while here, my powers are at the peak. But if I were to leave, well, who knows? Our dearly departed Morgan may have even passed as a more qualified magician. If you all agree to it, I may be able to assist you in reaching your next destination. But only if you agree. You must accept this offer for this magic to work. Teleportation is a finicky thing. I feel an incredible darkness to the south, more than likely another of Zodagon's goons. And since you're the heroes, head downstairs, that door's unlocked. If you hadn't noticed in your distasteful rummaging of my cottage, if all you can agree to making decent progress in this quest, the altar below will assist you in reaching your destination. Oops, she caught me. Yoink. Um, you waste no time, heroes. Welcome to the land of the hearty laughs, potent arrow, and the most weather-beaten characters Sufana has to offer. But you're always a little late to the party. Lanto's soon to be engulfed by the very seas that provided his people with sustenance for generations. The culprit, a skilled magician who met an untimely end, consumed by their love of the ocean's dark depths. Loot! There's stuff there! Items! Uh, I'm gonna keep talking to you. <gasps> Hang on a second. Gotta raid corpses. 
see that chest. Alright, but with that, Eskonites, we're going to call this episode here. I hope you have enjoyed, and thank you again to the devs for the providing the key for this. And uh, But if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do, and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.